One simple way to ensure that the regulatory process benefits everyday Americans is to make sure that individuals have the opportunity to voice their opinions on all proposed regulations and make sure their comments are actually heard. In fact, Congress required notice and comment in the rulemaking process. When an agency seeks to promulgate a rule, that agency must provide notice of its proposed rule in the Federal Register and seek comment on that rule. In theory, notice and comment allows everyday Americans who are affected by regulations to participate with their government to develop the regulation. A government by the people and for the people should also hear and respond to the people when regulations are written. In practice, however, many Americans feel that their voices are not adequately heard. Those without the resources to hire attorneys or those who are too far outside the beltway to share their perspectives feel that notice and comment is not enough. Today, I hope we can discuss ways in which the federal government, whether it be individuals or agencies or Congress, can better respond to individuals' concerns. The subcommittee takes these issues very seriously. In fact, I'd like to announce, before we begin the hearing, a project that Ranking Member Heidkamp and I are working on together. Senator Heidkamp and I have designed a portal for the subcommittee website called Cut Red Tape, where we encourage Americans to tell us about how specific regulations negatively affect them. We want to know if there are particular federal regulations that are onerous, out of date, lack common sense, or have an enormous burden. This is our own version of a regulatory look back. I do not believe that our nation should have no regulations, but I do believe that regulations should be local whenever possible, limited in scope, and that the least costly solution should be followed. We hope to have this web-based uh, effort ready in the very near future. Once it's up and running, the subcommittee will collect and read all submissions, and we hope to highlight regulatory stories in the future to address these individuals' particular concerns. I look forward to discussing these issues with our members and witnesses today. With that, I'd recognize the ranking member, Heidkamp.